care so much about people why he would risk um, you know hackers you know basically upending your life and uprooting it with this drama um, over a political agenda or over a political timetable because well, it's to about me, control it says a lot about exactly Absolutely. it says more about control than it does about caring yeah which you, is what you he know says I've, got he does. A, I've got a copy of this letter here so. I know you're gonna bottom line it for us here it because I think we're still waiting to get to the bottom line I mean this has been a criticism since very early on with healthcare.gov I mean even before yeah. it rolled out there were questions if you'll recall about what was being done uh, in terms of cybersecurity so the fact that you've got this now letter from from Orrin Hatch and, and Charles Grassley you'll notice administrator Tavner well she just quit she's yes. leaving soon <laughs> So, She's the latest woman to be sacrificed to the Obama I know you altar. Love to call it the war on women. <laughs> um, yeah, because then there was Julia Pearson with the Secret Service, and nobody else has been fired. And blah, yeah. Blah, blah. yeah, no, I hear you. Um, but with Tavner, what's interesting is they're also getting this on the record under her watch. And perhaps that's necessary just to show us how badly this was handled from the beginning. But my question is, is there going to be enough time between the time that she gets this letter mm -hmm. and, and the time she's leaving for her to address this? I mean, maybe there should have been a few other people no, on the No, she's letter. been a lowest learner. She's going to peace out. And it just shows from the NSA to the ACA, the government knows everything and they don't care at all. We told you yesterday about how some analysts predicted President Obama's State of the Union would hurt Hillary Clinton if she decides to run for president. But were they right? And she rocked camouflage heels while giving the yes, Republican did, response baby. to the presidential address last night. We'll take a look at how Senator Joni Ernst did and whether she'll be the GOP's next star. Stay with us. The world has changed, clearly it's not the 80s and the 90s anymore. When the market crashed in 2008, our clients were protected against losses. They didn't lose money. And when the stock market goes up, our clients go up with it. Their gains are locked in. And when the stock market goes down, our clients are protected and guaranteed against losses. We keep it simple. Our clients earn a reasonable rate of return and they don't lose money. Call or click now for your free investor's kit. O'Reilly here. We will analyze the president's speech last night for accuracy. Did he mislead us at any point? Also, Dennis Miller on Hollywood chaos involving the film's American Sniper and Selma. Plus, Miller's Super Bowl prediction. That and more. Next Factor. spoke softly and he had just a concerned soul he really just felt the need to just bring awareness to the Winnowar project I just hope that we could carry on his values and his courage and his integrity I am James Gandolfini and I want to tell you how Wounded Warrior Project helped give these brave American heroes the support and care they desperately needed at Wounded Warrior Project, we understand. We're there to help. With a gift of just $19 a month, you can join Wounded Warrior Project. You'll help provide critically needed programs and services that rebuild lives. When I was injured, I thought immediately about my son. I just knew that life was going to be different. You need to ask for help. You need to know that there's somebody there. Call now or go online with your gift of just $19 a month and we'll send you this Wounded Warrior Project blanket. At Wounded Warrior Project, we believe in heroes. Please, honor and empower those who have sacrificed so much for us. Wounded Warrior Project is helping those vets heal so they can have a life. It saved my family. Because of Wounded Warrior Project and the people that support it, I'm not in a dark place anymore. And it was showing me that I didn't have to be alone. Now is the time to show your support. Please call or go online with your monthly gift today. She sees the world like no one else. A unique viewpoint that goes against the norm. You want your news and politics conventional? 
good luck stopping her. Kennedy, a brand new show premiering Monday at 10 p.m. Eastern on Fox Business Network. You totaled your brand new car. Nobody's hurt, but there will still be pain. It comes when your insurance company says they'll only pay three quarters of what it takes to replace it. What are you supposed to do, drive three quarters of a car? Now, if you had Liberty Mutual new car replacement, you'd get your whole car back. I guess they don't want you driving around on three wheels. Smart. New car replacement is just one of the features that comes standard with the base Liberty Mutual policy. And for drivers with accident forgiveness, rates won't go up due to your first accident. Learn more by calling 1-888-861-5644. Switch to Liberty Mutual and you could save up to $423. For a free quote today, call Liberty Mutual Insurance at 1-888-861-5644. See car insurance in a whole new light. Liberty Mutual Insurance. One takeaway some analysts have from President Obama's State of the Union last night is that he moved the Democratic agenda farther to the left, appearing to rebuff the clear preference of voters that he work with Congress and assuring Americans our foreign policy is working. In doing so, he may have sabotaged his former Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, if indeed she decides to run for the White House in 2016. Now, we told you yesterday, because we talked about this, um, how some are predicting this. And, and they say that's exactly what happened last night. And then there was this. Let's simplify the system and let a small business owner file based on her actual bank statement instead of the number of accountants she can afford. And let's close the loopholes that lead to inequality by allowing the top 1% to avoid paying taxes on their accumulated wealth. Except for when they leave the White House broke. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Hillary Clinton could have a tough time distancing herself from Wall Street, given the fact that it has contributed greatly to her wealth, an issue that could also spell trouble in a campaign. So first of all, hey, it's America, make your dreams big, make them come true, so on and so forth. But she's running, and it looks like the, the president was kind of dialing up his inner Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts mm -hmm. last night and getting rather progressive. So your thoughts, did, did Hillary get a direct hit from this? Yeah, look, I, I mean, I guess I don't buy that there's some some big conspiracy where the president's trying to put her in a box. This is who he is, I and mean, this is who he's always been. He's a man of the left, and I think, I mean, I, I think that this is how President Obama wants to govern. If you remember the book by uh, Mark Halperin and John Hyland and Double Down, there was they described the series of meetings that took place in the White House in the fall of 2011, in which they say that President Obama at that time was expressing his frustration that he hadn't been allowed to be more progressive, mm -hmm. that he felt like yeah. he was driving with his foot <laughs> on the brake. That's who the guy is, and if there was ever going to be a point at which he would have turned toward the center sort of tried to triangulate it would have come after the 2010 mm -hmm. elections he rejected that entirely governed to the left campaign to the left and this is just more of the same yeah. uh, you know at one point because we were doing the whole social media thing when we were on last last night uh, it, it's interesting because if you're watching the Hillary Clinton account this is what popped up directly to President Obama's account the State of the Union hashtag so to you pointed way to an economy that works for all, now we need to step up and deliver for the middle class. Hashtag fair shot. Hashtag fair share. Your thoughts? I mean, it sounds friendly enough. Are there friends in politics, Kennedy? No, they're still operating as though economics are a zero-sum game. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Uh, progressive leftists have absolutely no grasp of pragmatic economics to the detriment of the entire country when they're in charge. And if Hillary Clinton goes in this direction, she'll probably lose. And if she wins, we all lose. And, you know, I think she's going to try and warnize herself. But when people talk about capital gains taxes and inheritance taxes, and, and accumulate, you know, taxes on accumulated wealth. As you accumulate your wealth, you're paying taxes the entire time. Yeah. It's actually a very unfair system the way progressives try and project it onto the rest of the world. And uh, last little button on this, who is going to become super rich when he leaves the White House? This president. Yeah. All right. So the president having a little progressive spring in his step. You were inside the hall last night. Mm -hmm. What kind of response did those remarks get from the fellow Democrats that you saw? I mean, they 
they were cheering. I mean, it, but it was split. I mean, there, it, it was interesting. I had a straight shot at the majority leader, um, uh, Kevin McCarthy, and there were points where he was trying to stand up and, and clap and I think kind of trying to put a good face on it. And the Republicans were having none of it. They were all seated. No one was standing up. Um, and when it comes to Hillary, though, I have to say, they, the, the Clintons are, if nothing, opportunistic and practical in their opportunism. And I don't think that that Hillary is going to, she may do that in the primary if she were elected or if she moved into, onto the general or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think she would be pragmatic and move to the middle. So outside of a tweet, do we hear from her this week? I mean, is, is it considered, no. like, what's the protocol if you think the president has gotten a little paint on you in a paintball game? Well, I think she's going to stay quiet and she should. This was a very <laughs> aggressive State of the Union speech. I will say the one way that it helps her is President Obama clearly defined who the enemy is. Uh, it really did set that up nicely for her as far as being Republicans. Um, but she's in a really tough spot because analysts have said that speech last night took her to the very far left. Mm -hmm. Now this is a place ideologically and politically where Hillary Clinton's been before and I do think she's very comfortable there. She also needs to sort of be there right now because of the prospect of Elizabeth Warren running. But think about it Harris, does she support what President Obama says mm -hmm. and risk alienating the moderate middle? and a lot of people who voted for her husband, or does she completely reject it and risk alienating the base? I do think Hillary Clinton is in a very tough spot after last night. I know who it helped, Elizabeth Warren. Absolutely, and I, I still think that that's what the president is doing. He's setting the table New car for, smell. for her, yeah. and, and, I don't know, that's and it smells what delicious. I mean, Elizabeth <laughs> Warren, she's that's a champion of the people. Just Everything facts. is going to be free when she's president. I so look forward to it. she was to hugging it. everybody last night. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, meantime, Iowa Senator Joni Ernst getting some positive reviews following her Republican response to the State of the Union last night. There was no glaring into the camera. She did quite a good job. The Senate's only female combat veteran focused on the GOP's priorities for the new Congress, worked in a few folksy references to her middle-class upbringing, and slammed what she called the president's failed politics. Take a look. Americans have been hurting, but when we demanded solutions too often, Washington responded with the same stale mindset that led to failed policies like Obamacare. It's a mindset that gave us political talking points, not serious solutions. That's why the new Republican majority you elected started by reforming Congress to make it function again. Thank you very much, Jody. Um, so the thing that uh, that terrifies me about the Republican Congress is they have the potential to spend just as much money mm -hmm. as the Democratic Congress and President. What say you, Stephen Hayes? No, I, I agree. Uh, uh, that concerns me too, and I'm a little bit surprised that Republicans haven't come out with a bolder contrast in the first few weeks of this new Congress. I mean, if I had been advising the Republicans, I would have said, "Look, come out with a big issue, and don't make it the Keystone Pipeline." I mm -hmm. think people have heard enough about the Keystone Pipeline. Come out and embrace tax reform, and not corporate tax reform but tax reform for everybody. You know, individual rates, a flatter system, a simpler system, a fairer system. Make that your big come out issue and talk about nothing but that for the first few weeks. Now, that wasn't her job last night, and I do think she did a good job yeah, doing, you know, filling the role that she was meant to fill. There weren't any stumbles. She came across as, as I think, pleasant, mm -hmm. knowledgeable, and, you know, as important as what she said, I think, was who she is and what she's done. Yeah. <clears throat> the fact that she's from Iowa, the fact that she's a woman, the fact that she's uh, military experience. I mean, I think it gives her some credibility to talk about that's, these issues. That's all interesting, but she's still in campaign mode, don't you think? I mean, I don't know how much, well, I, I fairness, don't know how much we have to know about her background. True. I want to know about solutions. I, really yeah, I mean, in all fairness, I think the president is too. I, I think that any time you have a speech like this and then a rebuttal, that's kind of what it is. You're, you're selling your platform. That, that's, I don't think anybody expects you to get up there and, and wholesale solve problems. I mean, wouldn't that be awesome? Yes. You know, though, what, what Senator Ernst is getting as the junior senator from Iowa though that the feedback that I'm reading about is she was positive in her yeah. comments there was some low-hanging fruit with the president's words of threats of veto and oh yeah I won the last two and just dropped the mic and blah. she didn't she didn't bite on yeah. any of that she went positive and there's a lot to be said about that and if if Obama's taught us anything it's that image matters and I think this was a brand new face for the Republican yeah. Party they tried to paint the Republicans as old white men and here was this not only a woman but I think in a way an anti Hillary because here's somebody who's up there on her own merit she didn't coattail anybody um, I thought she was refreshing and fun and 
I love the shoes, and they, they work in Wisconsin too, don't they? They would work in Wisconsin. Camo works in Wisconsin. I just think, I think the Republican Party could have set her up a little bit better, and I would like to see them do something different than that typical backdrop. I said that yesterday. Yeah. Sure. Put her in Put a room beer hall. full of a lot of people. <laughs> Seriously. With a very energized audience. Okay. I love your idea, Stephen. Why not come out with one big idea? Maybe pull it from the Simpson-Bowles plan and just say, this is what we're proposing. We're going to have that bill on, you know, pass it through the House and the Senate. Just something really Really yeah. big that would have made a headline in a room full of people that were energized because I do think the left is deeply threatened by women like Joni Ernst. Yes. But do something different for once when you're going to rebut the State of the Union instead of the flag backdrop and the the lectern. I mean, we've seen it all before. And Absolutely. I had a chance with the freshman senator too to to, to do something different. Like and if you're that. trying to show a different Republican Party, an inclusive Republican yeah. Party, you know, and, and if if the president is is getting catcalls and cheers from the Democrats in the room, then you know, if you're standing there by yourself in an isolated it's yeah, yeah forum it's, it's it, it is the great shoes on though the same kind mm -hmm. of Love excitement. The camo. Mm -hmm. campus sex assaults making headlines in recent months but now some female students say letting sororities host the parties that could be the answer and we will explain and right after the show we want you to head to the web for outnumbered overtime this is when it gets hot and saucy trust uh. me log on to foxnews.com <laughs> slash outnumbered <laughs> click on the overtime tab join us for ot send your comments your questions oh, and time Topic suggestions, anything you want to hear about. We got you on Twitter, Facebook. You can jump on the live chat as well. It's all up there, and we are here. It's outnumbered. Okay, fitness class, here's our new trainer, Ensure Active Heart Health. Yay! I'm going to focus on the heart. I minimize my sodium and fat. Got to keep it lean and mean. Uh oh. I maximize good stuff, like my potassium, and phytosterols, which may help lower cholesterol. I'm feeling energized already. <laughs> New delicious Ensure Active Heart Health supports your heart and body so you stay active and strong. Ensure. Take life in. Push your enterprise and you can move the world. But to get from the old way to the new, You'll need the right IT infrastructure. From a partner who knows how to make your enterprise more agile, borderless, and secure. HP helps business move on all the possibilities of today and stay ready for everything that is still to come. You show up. You stay up. You listen. You laugh. You worry. You do whatever it takes to take care of your family. And when it's time to plan for your family's future, we're here for you. We're LegalZoom, and for over 10 years, we've helped families just like yours with wills, living trusts, and more. Visit us today for legal help you can count on. LegalZoom. Legal help is here. Toenail fungus? Don't hide it. Fight it with new FDA-approved Jublia. Jublia, the fenaconazole 10% topical solution, is a prescription medicine proven to treat fungal infections of the toenails. Use Jublia as instructed by your doctor. Most common side effects include ingrown toenail, application site redness, itching, swelling, burning or stinging, blisters, and pain. Fight it! Ask your doctor now if new Jublia is right for you. I know there are a lot of ways to lose weight, and believe me, I've tried them all. And along the way, I've learned a few things. Like, did you know that when you lose just 10 pounds, you'll drop your blood pressure by five points? Pre-diabetic, lose 7% of your body weight and lower your risk of diabetes by 58%. Lose weight fast with Nutrisystem's Fast 5 Plus Kit. Lose five pounds in your first week, plus one inch off your waist or your money back, guaranteed. So you can have more energy, sleep better, and reduce your pain. And not just look good. But feel good. Order your 28-day Nutrisystem plan right now, including Fast 5 Plus. Get one week of meals, plus one week of energizing shakes and Craven Crusher shakes. Free. New food selections, new expert guides. Call now and lock in 2014 prices. And shipping is free. Do what I did and call Nutrisystem. Check out our plan for people with type 2 diabetes. Call 888 10 right now and get Fast 5 Plus with shakes free. Have you been waiting for the perfect time to invest in silver? Wait no longer. Silver is now on sale. With silver prices dropping lower than its all-in production cost, now silver may have hit rock bottom. 
Don't miss the opportunity to buy low and sell high. Call 1-800-482-5791. We're holding on account for you up to $500 worth of pure silver coins free for the first 100 callers. Here's three reasons you need to call right now. Industrial demand is growing. Investor demand is soaring. And for the first time in 10 years, you can buy silver below its production cost. Call 